We learn early on that the world is rife with dangers and threats. That safety is not always where it ought to be, and fear can rise too often. Some of us learn this when we're very young, others have never known otherwise. Bunny knew of dangers, dangers which give fuel to worry, worry which stifles songs and freedom and laughter, which sow prickly weeds of uncertainty that wrap around, that crush and injure with thorns that which ought to have been secure. But she also knew that in the world are things called sanctuaries, Sanctuaries are sacred places, places that danger cannot reach, places that are safe and hidden and sometimes secret, where those who enter are protected, where one might find one's voice again and remember one's dreams once more, where no one is rushed or hurried or put aside, but welcomed in and given room and warmth and quiet. Sanctuaries can sometimes be found in unlikely places, in the flick of a paintbrush, in a plan for the future, in the folds of a blanket, in the listening ear of a friend, in an idea that nothing can corrupt. Places where the walls cannot cave, and no threat can end, and no harm can reach, and winds are hushed. Blessed are the ones in the world who create sanctuaries, even if it is in the tiniest corner, in the smallest room, in a most secret dream, in a sacred thought. Those who build and shape and imagine safe circles and rooms and cathedrals, nests and blanket forts and kind eyes. May all who travel find a sanctuary. May all who struggle come across a haven, a place where those who are tired can rest, hide away until their breathing has slowed and their hands no longer tremble and they can remember the good things again. <laughs> 